prospect Majai Sanders is an edge player that's very unique. And because of his unique traits, he's going to drop a little bit in the draft. It, probably a late second, early third round draft pick. Edge guy out of Cincinnati. Undersized for sure, and that's why he won't last long. But that first step, um, very, very quick, elite first step. The 49ers love edge players. They can't help themselves whenever it comes to this. And if you're looking for that D Ford replacement... This guy's going to be in the conversation. So a very, very high percentage kind of mock draft and target for the 49ers at that pick 61. So enjoy this. And if you want to watch the full breakdown, head over to patreon.com, type in 49ers Rush, uh, join us there, and you get hundreds of breakdowns, including every single offense and defensive snap from the 49ers broken down scheme and all that. That's what we do here at the 49ers Rush Podcast. But here before that, go and enjoy Majai Sanders, who has a Maybe one of the highest chances of being a 49er uh, before the draft starts. Enjoy this film. Like, here he's not even an edge guy. He's lined up inside. You know, I mean, this is like a 3 4, and he's playing the, you know, Eric Armstead position out of Oregon. Um, but he is a guy that, you know, is long. His first step is incredible. And, but his length. First step and arm length, again, that's kind of what he's going to win with. Again, like this is a three down lineman against one of the best offensive lines in the country. And let's see how he fares. Uh, I mean, he, I will say this, he does bounce off blocks really, really well. But if you're using him as a base defensive end at the next level, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> you're way wrong. And you can see even whenever he makes contact with the ball carrier, now that's a pretty big ball carrier, he bounces off. Uh, missed tackles are an issue with him. Um, he did have quite a fit. He doesn't finish very well. But again, what is it that you want this guy to do? He, again, you want him blitzing off the edge. All of this, not that teams don't care about him being a run defender. Again, he's going to jump off sides and bounce inside, so let's skip forward. But, like, you could just see, like, he's a glider, sifts through garbage well, but that's not why you're drafting him. You want to see what he can do to get after the passer. Again, hand down. He's not playing in the right position. Going one-on-one -on -one with, you know, Neil. And what, I mean, he's got some strength to him. He's 228. But watch him take this on and just kind of slip him. And again, he, he's a slip guy against the blocks. He's... He's not a power guy by any stretch. Um, this is not what he's going to bring. But very, very explosive. You look at his metrics that he brought. Ran a 4.67 in the 40. That's good, not great. This is it, man. This is what you want to see. Look at these long strides, and you can just see the length and how he gets upfield well ahead of everybody else. Even if it's outside, I mean, he presses the quarterback. I mean, this is a positive play for a pass rusher. Is he getting the sack? No. He registered 10 pressures in this game. 10 pressures against Alabama. He's getting double team. Well, he's getting chipped. I don't call that a true double team. But, like, he can press the edge. These are the things that you want out of this kid. Again, that's an NFL swing tackle, probably offensive guard. Uh, Chris Owens, number 79. But, like, he can get out there and press. Like, he is giving, you know, he's pressing the pocket what you like, he's got some things that you like. But the undersized issue, every single team's going to have to debate that in their war room and say, yes, we like him, but we're going to dock him a little bit. Or no, throw him off our board. He doesn't fit what we want in an ideal end. just want to say thanks for watching and supporting the 49ers Rush Podcast channel. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so in the middle of your screen now. And here are a few extra videos if you want to check that out for some more 49ers content. Just want to say thank you. And as always, stay strong, faithful.